Hi, this is Chris from Mountain View, and we're going to look at how you can take your weekly agenda and publish it. That way you can use the same link to your agenda throughout the year because it will the published link will automatically update. So I have it set up for the first week of school. I have it called weekly agenda. Probably need a better naming once it's actually for you to designate it as your agenda. And what you need to do is go to the file and go ahead to publish to the web. And once you publish the selection, it will then come up with a link and you would copy that link. And that is what you would share on your Google Classroom. So I'm going to take this link. I'm going to copy it and go into my Google Classroom. And when I go into the Google Classroom, I already have a couple of weeks set up here. But if I go back into this agenda here and I edit it, instead of it being linked to an individual Google Doc, instead what I could do, and I'm just gonna add for this one, if I add the link, it will then link to this weekly agenda. It keeps the name of whatever you name it right here. And that agenda, then I when I go in, so I'm just gonna save this. When I go for a new week, and I create it and I reuse the post. I have placed that one here. When I go to reuse that post, it's already there and the information would automatically update. And I'll show you how that automatically updates by going in. I'll put another week in. So let's say it's during the week. I have the agenda, it's already published so the students can see it. What I can do is I can copy my week and I'll go ahead and just duplicate both of the slides and they show up down here. So the first thing that I want to do to help myself is make sure that I'm naming them so that when I'm working on them, I'll know what week I'm in and I won't accidentally overwrite the current week that I'm working on. So I'm going to rename both of these. And I did have the agenda was on two slides. So I have the math and the science here and my ELA and handwriting on the second one. But I did mark at the top that the information is on the other slide. That way it's more obvious which slides go together. So here I have my copies. And I'm just, the first thing that I'm going to do is rename them. So then I'd update all of the links in these two slides and I can even make them while I'm working on them. Oh, I just duplicated. While I'm working on them, I can set it to skip the slide so students can't see it, but I can still go ahead and go in and work on everything. And that way at the, by the beginning of next week, when it's time to post them, I can take both of these slides, move them to the top, and then not skip them anymore, and students will be able to see them. So that means that I can work on things. It's all in one link, but the students won't be able to see the work until I unhide them.